Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Escape Art by Scott. And if you are new to my channel, let me explain uh, a little videos that I do. This is a very, very quick way of, of how to paint. Uh, if uh, you're a type of person that wants to, uh, you know, paint a rock for two or three hours or days, uh, th these videos are not for you. This is a very quick way, uh, a very uh, how to paint a very nice painting. And uh, enough on that. And, I, and if you are coming back to my channel, I appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you come back too as well. So uh, let, let's get started. Uh, got my canvas up here. Now this is a, a black canvas uh, that I bought at a uh, at a craft store. It is at a, an 18 by 24 uh, size canvas, and uh, it is uh, uh, primed with a, a black acrylic type paint here. And the, uh, the canvas is ready to go. I'm ready to go. I got my all the paints laid out. I know you are ready, so let's get to it. The uh, first thing I want to do, uh, explain what's going to go on here, is that I'm thinking of an idea of a, a moonlit painting. I'm going to have a moon somewhere up here, and I'm going to have a bunch of trees and some land and some uh, water down here. I hope. I hope it all works out that way. So let's get going. I'm going to grab my brush here. And again, this is in my palette I got. I got it uh, covered with some uh, uh, cling on wrap. I don't know what you call it. Uh, but I got it covered in my palette here. So that when I get done with this, I don't have to bother in cleaning up all that paint. And then I can just take it off and throw it away. So um, that's what I got here. I'm going to dip my brush into some uh, suppression blue paint I got and decide where I want my moon. And uh, today, let, let's say right up in here somewhere. Let me go ahead and, and let's just put this canvas down just a little. And come right up here. The, the, the paint goes on a little bit smoother uh, if you have a little bit of water on here. So just a little bit of blue on your brush. Come right up here and uh, just put it in. Try not to overdo this here at all. Just a little blue. And also, I want to put in just a tad bit of uh, black just to dull this color around a little bit something like that and now I'm going to come in with another brush a smaller brush I use the this size to put on the blue and I'm going to use this size to put on the, on the white. Uh, my next thing is what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the glow, the halo, uh, or however you want to say it, uh, that's uh, around the moon. Just put a little white in. Now all this kind of still looks black here. Because what I used two colors, blue and black, so the, it matches the canvas. But but when you take white and you come up here to your paint that you just put on here, it turns, and you just put this on anywhere you want to, and just work out. When you get your, when you start putting your uh, paint on here, do not go back into the center with your uh, brush because it will pick up some of that paint that you have already put on here. So what you want to do is uh, take your brush and you want to clean it off. And that's what I'll do now. Dip it back into my white. Remember what the rule is, guys. A small amount of paint first. 
and you always can add on and you want to get the center this is white uh, however you want it and then you can take a clean brush and come right in here smooth that out blend it all blended out. Now you come back in here with another a smaller brush that size of brush and how this is there's many ways to make moons uh, this is uh, my way any way you want to do it I just come straight in with the brush right there in the center and just turn it straight out and there you have your little nice little moon that you have up here you got your glow I would suggest put your glow in first and then your moon if you go and put your moon in first and then try to put your the little glow that you see around moons what you'll see what you will do is that you'll have a once you put your moon in, you, you don't want to touch the moon again, right? So as you're coming around and putting this glow in, you don't want to touch that moon. So you're going to get as close as you can to that moon. And what it'll leave is like a, a little halo around that moon. And you don't really want that. You want to look kind of natural, a little realistic here. Uh, so um, it's just better to put the, the uh, glow in first and then the moon, all right? All righty, let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, put some trees in here. But before I do that, before I do that, this is, uh, I want to put some stars in here. And how you do this is that you can use a fan brush and a palette knife. And all you want to do is just flick your uh, paint onto the canvas. And I'll leave it like little specks. And just continue on with that. One problem of uh, doing your star, what well, you'll see that I just did it, was that uh, I got them too big. Some of them, but that flaked off was too big. And that's the easy fix. Just get your paper towel, wet it down slightly with a spray bottle, which like I have here. Wet the paper down a little bit and just wipe it off. It comes right off, no problem. No problem with that at all. Now I'm going to start, uh, let's put in some trees here. And for that, another thing I want to add, this is a black canvas, of course. So we don't have to worry about putting any dark color uh, into your tree because the, the black is already here so uh, we don't need to do that because uh, you know like I've seen you see my other videos that I've done I, when I do my trees I like to have a little shadow areas in, in my trees a little, you know dark areas and I usually put a dark color a black and blue mixture or something and then I put the highlights on the green but uh, since the canvas is already black you don't have to worry about putting in that dark color in. So let's continue on here. I'm gonna get some color on my brush. I got some green, some uh, sap green, a little yellow, and uh, just a little, uh, just a little touch of white on here. Uh, you don't want to make the trees uh, too bright because this is supposed to be at night. So, but you got the moonlight right here. So what I would like to do is decide how far up you want your trees. 
Now let's say they come up right about here somewhere. And that is just a little bit too uh, bright for me. Easy fix. Come back in here. And cover it up with some However you want your trees to look like. Just don't make all your trees the same height. And uh, don't make them, you know, trees, you have to remember, trees go grow every which way. So you have to remember that. And this right here will take time, will take practice. Don't get in no hurry. Practice will come. Speed. The more you practice, the, the, you know, the faster you, be, you will become. So don't worry about it. If you just start now, don't worry about speed right now, okay? Just because you get your uh, painting done in 20 minutes, let's say, it doesn't mean that it looks good, right? Now, as you work your way away from your moonlight, away from the source of your light, as your trees become darker and darker. Again, you want to leave some space uh, in between your trees. Don't just don't cover your whole thing with green. Can't really tell uh, on your. Uh, well, I'm looking at the camera. I can't really tell. Uh, you can't see. It. Hopefully, you can see it. getting into some more of this moonlight here color so let's lighten it up this a little some people don't like these dark canvases that I kind of like them it seems like uh, the, you know the color kind of pops right out you don't have to work up to death about to bring color out trees here, your little foliage. And I think that's about as far as I want to go downward. I'm going to put just a little color over here. A little, a little light, maybe some moonlight coming down hitting that. He was hitting that little bit right here. Move it, working away again. Dark color. Put some tree trunks in here, and, and I got this brush here. 
and I don't know if you can see that I got a dark color here and I got a lighter color here and uh, all I have on the dark color is a, a couple brown burnt umber, a burnt sienna and uh, some uh, uh, just some white on the other side no big deal you got your moonlight here so your lighter color should be to the right and just come up here in any uh, spot you want a tree trunk and just drop it in try not to make it so uh, big just uh, anywhere you want them to go a few arms here and there I don't uh, put it in my trees here and my tree trunks. I uh, wanted them. So now I'm going to put in some grass right through here. form the land you want some uh, little rolling hills or something you can put that in I really want to do this uh, remember guys this is your painting this is you know what you're doing and uh, Hopefully, you can see it when I actually uh, put it on YouTube. Hopefully, it comes up better because on the camera, like I said, it's not really showing up too good. Alright. Alright, I got everything done here. I'm going to uh, put in some water. I'll show you how to do that just to make sure some green. And you can come up here and get yourself some blue. Right here, come just straight down just with this little bit so it will slide on a little better. Be careful when you're spraying your water, guys, uh, you don't want it too much. And just come right straight down. Then what you do, you come down, you just go across. I'm going to put a little white in here uh, just to lighten it up some. Just a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Don't want to overdo this either. You got your moon like right here. So just pop it in. There's a 
further away you go from your source of light, the darker it should get. So over this way, I ain't gonna have a whole lot of light. And again, it's come across. Water in the old brush here. Yep. And you have instant water. Well, that's this difficult right here, ain't it? your water you're going straight across you don't want to go like this but with your brush just keep going straight across now we got our moon up here so let's go ahead and put a little moonlight on our water here down make your lines or what have you uh, bigger and I give that sense of distance into your painting something like that and you can use any brush fan brush for this There yeah, it is. Again, you always want to take a step back and look at your painting and to see that I give you more of a perspective on what you need to add to your. Okay. I think I'm going to add me some uh, bushes here. And again, I've said this in other videos. Uh, how I paint is uh, from basically is from my mind. I guess you can call that. I work on this painting here for a few days in my mind and, and then I go paint and uh, basically I, so I'm not looking at any reference material or, or a picture or something this is strictly from my imagination I always said these are my uh, thoughts on canvas and some of the people that I come across in my lifetime they do not need to put their thoughts on canvas because you need to be about 30 years old or older for them to do that all right, here we go. Let's put some. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put some nice little foliage, some nice little bushes right here. trees up here don't have your bushes all the same height same color and all that don't do that this paint is coming right along got my bushes in all right let's uh i like to see some uh, water lines back here 
So I grabbed this brush. This brush right here is just a straight edge type brush. And just come right back up here. And just put it on a nice little water line. Basically where the dirt and the water meet, something like that. Maybe a few little water lines out here. Maybe a little bit more right here. Wherever. It's coming right along. And, you know, look how long this is uh, taking me to you know, paint this, you know, I'm stopping talking, this and that, you know. So it's taking me a very, in my opinion, a very short time. And it's not a bad uh, painting. You know, I just can't see, like when I put my moon in, some guys, you know, you know, they want to take, you know, three hours just to paint a little moon. And uh, I just, it's not me, okay. It, now this way, I, the way I paint might not be for you, so don't do it. No hard feelings. I, you know, it ain't like I'm gonna know, right? Now, uh, I like to mention one thing. Now, uh, when you come across a scene like this, okay, and one thing you need to remember that when you come out here, uh, you need to bring some uh, mosquito spray, some bug spray, because you, you will definitely find a mosquito in here somewhere. All right. <clears throat> You know, and that's another thing. Can you anyone explain to me why there are mosquitoes in this world? I hate a mosquito and gnats. I, I don't really understand why we had to put up with those type of bugs. You know, I know there's food for other things, frogs and such things. Man, they better go find a worm somewhere. You know, because if it's my choice, I would wipe mosquitoes and gnats, fleas and ticks. That's, I mean, they are ridiculous. And I, I don't understand why they're on our planet, okay? And uh, I met a guy this the other day from Alaska, a food guy on that subject, and he's saying that, uh, I asked him about the mosquitoes in Alaska. He, he said, you know, they don't have mosquitoes, they have six-legged birds, which I thought was kind of funny. And uh, he said, there, you know, two types of mosquitoes, you know, the kind that goes through the screen door and the other kind that opens up the screen door. Now, that's pretty rough there now. Now, uh, the other day, you know, we have our share of mosquitoes in here in southeast Georgia. Uh, that is for sure and for certain. I seen the one the other day that you can put your finger on it and you can feel his heartbeat. Okay, you actually can get a blood pressure reading off of that thing. I mean, it's scary. And I killed one. And when I killed it, two fleas jumped off it. Really? And the fleas were feeding off the mosquito. So, frogs and such, find a worm, find a beetle, do something. Because in my choice, mosquitoes and gnats be wiped off. So is those doggone fleas and ticks. Okay, enough of that. Alright, uh... And you know what, guys, I think I'm going to call that finish. I can nitpick at this here and there and uh, well you know I would like to I see something you know when you're painting uh, you know when I paint like I said I, I'm not looking at anything okay I'm uh, this is basically off my, uh, my own mind I guess and when I paint I don't sketch nothing either you know I just go out I just paint because you know you know sketching you're, you're bound by what that sketch is I guess uh, I don't know how the way to say it. So you're, you're not free as I am. I, 
you know. So, you know, when I'm painting, I, sometimes I see things that I normally wouldn't paint in there, but as I look, I see things, and I think I would like to paint some rocks. And all I'm going to get is some, basically the same color that I use for my tree trunk. And they give me some brown, some black, and just some highlight color. Get that here in a minute, alright. And just start making some rocks. Of course, the highlight, this is coming on double over the brush. Yeah, I got one side of a lighter color and a darker side there. That's a good shot right there. And then you can start wherever you want to and just make your little rocks. Wherever you want them. However many you want them. And just like, you know, make rock shapes, I guess. And go ahead and reload. Right over here. How many you want? You might not want to put no rocks in your painting. Fine. I won't know. I won't tell. this one finished guys I hope you enjoyed it and uh, again it's a very quick way of painting I think it's kind of a nice paint myself and uh, until uh, until next guys next time guys you know take care of yourself I hope you come back subscribe to my channel again this is escape art by Scott that's me Scott and be careful of those doggone mosquitoes they're out there guys <laughs> until next time take care of yourselves